uninsured or underinsured get their care in a few ways if they have a, a, not a bad problem. You know, currently there are all kinds of clinics which the doctors are not in favor for the HB sort of clinic type of situations where we don't have, we want them to have, as Dr. Swanson said, we want them to have well care, preventative care. And that's not, that's episodic care, not chronic care. Um, we want them to be having a relationship with the doctor as we did a long time ago. So right now, People can visit those places, that's their option, or go to a private doctor. But the problem is if we take Medicare right now, I cannot charge anybody any less. Even if I like you and I see that you cannot pay, I'll charge you 40 bucks for one kind of uh, episodic care. When Medicare comes for that same care, I have to charge everybody like 140 bucks. I have to make good faith to cover it, or I get fined for being a good philanthropist or whatever you want to call me. So, Right now, that's the way. If, if they are truly uninsured and uh, below the, the poverty level, at least in uh, Harris County, maybe this one of the county clinics, if they are, uh, they don't even require doctor by but they can go to the Harris County get care. In Fort Bend County, there is an indigent care that has contracted with several doctors in a hospital, and they can go there. That's if they're eligible. If you're above that level and you're working public and you're not insured, it basically cash pay every time. Get care, which may be okay. I was, was paying $1,300 a month for my insurance for my family for that's a, every month. So that's you know that's an enormous amount of money for something who cannot pay or is underinsured. So people can have either charge their credit card, find somebody that will do it. Now, whether low cost care means not good care, I, I don't think so. It just governors already made rules. Insurance companies are getting rules there. We follow the past policy rules and we take Medicare. So that's why some people drop Medicare so they can offer people customized care right now. So that's one way people may have to do is drop the public option if it's possible in order to adjust people's fees according to their income status or their ability to pay or make good faith to pay. So that's how they access it right now. The big problem is the working poor especially if they've got a pre-existing condition. And they're the tough ones. And as Joni reminded me, when I first started practice, somebody came in and I wanted to charge them 10 bucks, I could charge them 10 bucks. And now you can't do that, because I get in trouble. I gotta charge them the whole thing and make a reasonable effort to try to get paid, which is stupid. Uh, you know, for your children, orthopedic problems, no problem. We've got the Schleiner's Hospital here. It's the best orthopedic hospital in the nation. I'm a volunteer on staff, I can take any kid I want to there. And it's just fantastic. We've got great volunteers there. The Evan Cena Clinic, out in this area, it's fantastic. And I'm a volunteer with that clinic. We've got a great community of volunteer physicians. And we're trying our best to take care of these folks. But there are better ways. We need people to say, no pre existing conditions. You want to sell insurance? You know, it's a nationwide pool, as Congressman also said. So you can spread the risk that way and get these people taken care of. Uh, that's, that's the big thing. Yes, we can get you care. There's a consortium of physicians through Harris County that uh, will take people. Uh, I'm a physician partner in, in a hospital. I can actually bring patients there. That it's a for-profit hospital. We're going to take care of people. So it's pretty cool in that respect. Did that answer your question?
many, many health care problems can be served. In fact, I can't think of except for maybe cancer. Uh, the hypertension, diabetes, uh, uh, hypoglycemia uh, can all be uh, treated 